Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones held court at the NFL Combine. He spoke to reporters for over one hour. It was like the Irishman of sports press conferences. Bruh. And Jerry Jones talked about the collective bargaining agreement, but then he talked about the Dak Prescott contract negotiations. Here's Jerry Jones addressing the current state of the Dak deal. The same as I feel about Steven. Uh, there's no going forward without Steven or, your, or one of your family members. So you got to get it figured out. Uh, this is a deal that uh, uh, ultimately I have to do. And I uh, will have to, uh, when I say do, I have to sign the check. Okay. Uh, so uh, I, it's got to fit. It just has to fit, and it has to fit a lot of things, and uh, 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 for me, this is not about Dak. It's about uh, the team and about how to win, and that's not being uh, in any way negative, I think, the world of Dak, but uh, it's about the team, and uh, if, it's, uh, if it doesn't feel right, it won't happen. So if it doesn't feel right, it won't happen. It's not about Dak, it's about the team. It has to fit, it just has to fit. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. This feels a lot like the Zeke who comments from last year. You remember when Jerry Jones said Zeke who? Zeke who? Zeke who? Zeke who? Zeke who? <laughs> so you see Jerry Jones at work. He's trying to leverage these negotiations. He's trying to get one over on Dak Prescott. There's got to be a part of Jerry Jones that loves the idea of Tom Brady on the Dallas Cowboys. And if you don't sign Dak Prescott, maybe you sign Tom Brady, then you draft a quarterback, then you have that quarterback under a rookie contract, and then you can build around a defense. Because, hey, they had that great defense last year. Five of those players are free agents this year. So will they be able to retain that entire defense? And to me, it just shows, look, they might love Dak Prescott, but are they in love with Dak Prescott? Are they truly all the way in on Dak Prescott? Something tells me that they're not, because if Dak Prescott was Patrick Mahomes, the ink would have been dry on that contract already. I think the Dallas Cowboys, they're taking a long look at Dak Prescott, and they're specifically looking at his record against elite teams. In the last two years, against winning teams, Dak Prescott is 5-11. A 5-11 record against winning teams teams and in that span he has 22 touchdowns and 20 turnovers so when it matters most against elite teams Dak Prescott isn't an elite quarterback so why would you give him elite money if he can't beat the big teams look at last year they could have beaten the Patriots on the road yes it was a rainy game did he play his best no against Chicago against Philly when they could have secured the division Dak Prescott has not come up big on the biggest of stages so I think that's giving the Dallas Cowboys pause and I think they're weighing their options. Now, I think ultimately they do sign Dak Prescott, but it just comes down to will Dak Prescott give them a little bit of a hometown discount because of all the benefits of being a Dallas Cowboy? But the question I would have would be, can Dak Prescott win a Super Bowl as the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys? Look, if you want to win in the Super Bowl, he's going to be playing against elite competition in the conference title games. Look, last year he had so many opportunities. They played the Saints without Drew Brees. They lost. They scored 15 points on the road against the Buffalo Bills, 9 points against the Patriots. Yes, it's not all on Dak Prescott and the quarterback, but hey, he is the guy that's going to get the money. He's the guy who's looking for $38 to $44 million dollars in that range and if you're going to pay him that kind of money you have to expect those kind of results and to me I'm not so sure that Dak Prescott is capable of those results I'm not saying he's not a solid to great quarterback in the NFL but is he in the Patrick Mahomes Russell Wilson category absolutely not and look if you franchise Dak Prescott you're just telling us you don't want him long term that's what this league has shown us look what the Washington Redskins did with Kirk Cousins they franchise him he ends up in Minnesota 
Minnesota. I truly believe the Dallas Cowboys are strongly considering Tom Brady, and I think the interest is mutual. Look, if you're Tom Brady, Dallas makes perfect sense. Look at the weapons they have compared to what you had last year. Last year, you were going to war with butter knives. You go to Dallas, Ezekiel Elliott, Amari Cooper, lots of talent. And then also, if you trade that pick and you get to a tag of Iloa, you got some superstars in Dallas. Look, Dak Prescott is a star. He's not a superstar. That's not a debate. Just his name cachet. Tom Brady is the biggest name in football, not named Patrick Mahomes right now. And you bring him to Dallas. And if you're Jerry Jones, look, you could go 0-16 next year as long as you have Tom Brady on the Dallas Cowboys you have the biggest story in sports Tom Brady plus Dallas Cowboys equals the biggest story in football and we know Jerry Jones wants that but most importantly I think Tom Brady has some left in the tank I think Tom Brady wants to show Bill Belichick I can win a ring without you and to do that with the marquee franchise in the NFL I think Dallas should bring Brady to the boys and I think next year the biggest star in the NFL should have the biggest star on his helmet thanks for watching the get more sports YouTube channel my name is Doug McCain you can follow me at DMAC underscore LA and for all the hottest sports content in the game be sure to hit that subscribe button hit that notification button and most importantly give me all your takes right down below in the comments section I want all your takes right down below in the comments section and for all the hottest and latest sports news head over to getmoresports.com